Hi, here's a quick phrase study for it is finished. I found it two places in the scripture, and that is in James 1.15 and John 19.30. Uh, so first of all, let's look at the meaning in the Greek, teleo, basically to complete, execute, or conclude, or discharge a debt. And I started thinking about this discharge a debt. I'm in the mortgage business, and when you have a mortgage lien or a lien on a property, it is connected to that property, and until death is the meaning of the term mortgage, so you are obligated to pay that lien until death. So in the same way, we have a lien placed on us at birth. James 1.15 says that when lust has conceived, it brings forth sin, and we're born in sin, and when it is finished, it is finished, it bringeth forth death. That's the conclusion. That's the payment. Death is the payment for sin. Ephesians 3 says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus our Lord. Actually, that's Romans 6.23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. But James 1.15, it is finished. When sin is finished, it brings forth death. John 19.30, the other place that we see it is finished is when Jesus therefore received vinegar. He said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. It is finished. The debt has been discharged. He has paid the price for the sins of the world. It is finished. So what? <clears throat> Again, here are those two scriptures side by side now. James 1.16. When sin is finished and when Christ is finished, there is a contrast here. So the bad and the good. First of all, we're born in sin. We're born with a lien against us. Sin has a claim on us and death is the payment. We are slaves to sin. This is found in Romans 6 and James 1.15. And mortgage, a lien, is until death, literally. Penalty for non-payment is death. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus our Lord. Romans 6.23. But God, he's been rich in mercy. Through repentance and faith uh, and that gift, but because of his great love for us, God, who was rich in mercy, has made us alive with Christ. Even when we were dead in our trespasses, it is by grace you have been saved. Ephesians 2. The lien is released. Blessed is the man who, whose sin the Lord will never count against him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever rejects the Son will not see life. Instead, the wrath of God remains on him. So we see we have, we're born in sin, what the penalty is, but God, life everlasting. Choose you this day whom you will serve. God bless.